Shalom Israel. This video is about the, all the witchcraft and sorcery of, uh, that's going through the uh, 12 tribes of Israel. And it's the 12 tribe sign here. The so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the 12 tribes of Israel. I want to go to the, uh, the Bible in the book of Exodus and show you in the beginning when the Lord uh, gave the, uh, the commandments to Moses. If you go here to 20, it says, And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Now, a lot of uh, churches get that switched up and say, Well, the Lord says, you know, not to have other gods before him, meaning you you can serve, you know, have idols and statues and serve them, but they had to put the Lord first. No, that's not what it means. When you said thou shalt have no other gods before me, that means he don't want to see you serving other gods, meaning before me, he doesn't want to see that. It has nothing to do with you putting false images before him. He don't want you to deal with them none whatsoever. And it says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, thyself to them, nor serve them. Now this is key. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children meaning if he don't get you he gonna get your children for this man unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and show a mercy unto the thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments so the ones you Israelites that's chosen to know the truth, you and your children and your children's children are going to be okay. You Israelites is in the, the gangs and down with shooting and killing other Israelites and don't care. And that don't mean nothing. You got one life to live. The Lord going to punish you and the generation after you. Now I'm going to show you the uh, scriptures in the Bible that talk about witchcraft. When you go to define it about witchcraft destroyed, go to Exodus 22 and 18, 2 Kings 23 and 24. Micah 5 and 12 abstinence from witchcraft is in Leviticus 19 31 also Leviticus 20 and 6 read also uh, Isaiah 8 and 19 and the sin of uh, divination is 1st Samuel 15 and 23 and the failure of sorcerers and astrologers you can go to Daniel 5 chapter 5 7 and 8 and uh, when uh, Simon was in Samaria, you can go to Acts 8, 9, and 11. Now you can also read Ephesians 22 and 18. It says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. See, the Lord is against witchcraft. Now you, you can go here, it says, in sorcery, it says, confronting magicians of Egypt. It's Exodus 7, 6, and 12. And also Exodus 4, 1 and 5. Also Numbers 24 and 1. 1 Samuel 28 and 5 to 20. False prophets are foiled. Go to Isaiah 44 and 25. Fortune and destiny. Go to Isaiah 65 and 11. And those who prophesy lies. Jeremiah 27, 9 and 15. And you can check out what the Lord... It speaks against the use of magic charms, Ezekiel 13 and 20. Now, just like I showed you in Exit, when uh, the scripture in Exodus about the witchcraft and about the magicians, if you look in this book here, it says the Hebrew pharaohs of Egypt, because we were also doing wickedness in Egypt, the Hebrews. Now if you go here, it says, I'm in Hotep, son of Habu, a magician of Uyah's time, said to have lived 110 years. The dark granite stone found at Karnak shows him at age of 80. See, we're doing mag uh, magic. And the Lord was against that.
I want to, uh, before I want to go off the subject, but I want to go here real quick to the Bible. Uh, you hear a lot of these brothers with this Egyptology talking about how great Egypt was, but Egypt wasn't great until Israel was down there running things after Joseph. All right, now let's let's get the proof from the, the Egyptians themselves yeah, so we can kill this myth that Egyptians were all that. It was the Hebrews that made Egypt good. And it says here in Exodus, and he said unto his people, this is the Pharaoh, after, uh, the Pharaoh of Ramses. He said, he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more mightier than we. See, Israel, the Israelites are mightier. Come on and let us deal. It says, come on, let us deal wisely with them. At least they multiply and it come to pass that there falleth out any war. So they was, they was afraid that we was going to take over. And since the Lord was against us for all the wickedness we were starting to do in Egypt, he let the Egyptians overthrow us and take us into bondage. But we're mightier than the Egyptians. They even know that. It was Joseph that helped Egypt from falling apart, man. And spared them from that famine. Alright, back on to the subject. <laughs> Which is the witchcraft of, of the Israelites. Now you can go to Leviticus over here. 20 and 6. And the Lord says, And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and I will cut him off among his people. See, if you're in the witchcraft, it's curtains for you. The Lord's not going to forgive that, man. Also, when you go to Leviticus 20 and 27, a man also or a woman to have a familiar spirit or that is a wizard so surely so surely be put to death that they stone them with stones their blood shall be upon them now this was going back to the Levitical law what would happen if you were dealing with witchcraft let's see if that changed this is in Matthew the New Testament it says not everyone that saith unto me Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven Many will say to me in that day, so that, that's the future, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Go to Matthew 13 and 41. It said, The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and then and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend so it, it's not like you you're forgiven for everything in certain sins the Lord gonna kill people for homosexuality you're not entering the kingdom doing that witchcraft you're not entering to, to their kingdom killing your people for no reason in, in the gangs and hunting down your own people slaughtering your own people you're going to suffer for that man. 42 and shall cast them into a furnace of fire so you know you hear a lot of brothers saying well I, I got one life to live you know I'm gonna laugh now and cry later okay this is the crying and shall cast them into a furnace of fire there shall be wailing and a gnashing of teeth that means serious serious pain man I mean pain so bad when you just sit there and gnash your teeth serious pain then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father who have ears to hear them, let them hear. I'm going to go over here uh, to show you that the uh, spiritual demons can possess people. It's in uh, Matthews 8 and uh, go to 27. It says, But the men marvel, saying, What manner of, of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? And we, <clears throat> when he was come to the other side in the country, of the Georgia cities, there met him two possessed with devils coming out of the tombs, exceedingly fierce. Man, these guys were rough and real nasty. Like, uh, if you ever see like uh, gang shows, you see them guys in LA, something, you see how they fierce they are. They'll, they'll hurt anything, they'll kill anything. They ain't, they don't, men, women, children, innocent, young, they don't care. That's how the fierce demon they have. Exceedingly fierce, so that no man might pass that way. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? So you're going to be tormented when the Lord comes. So enjoy yourself, man. Even the demons, the spiritual demons that enter you know that they're going to be tormented along with you. 
So if you're down with this lifestyle and this wizardry and this witchcraft, so be it. And there was a good way off from them a herd of many swine feeding. So the devils besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, suffer us to go away in the herd of swine. And he said unto them, Go. And when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine. And behold, the whole herd of swine ran violently down the steep place into the sea and perished in the waters, man. 